Hi, today we're looking at question 243, shortest word distance. Um, basically, the question is given a array of strengths and two other words right after that, you need to find the shortest distance between them. So uh, if you look at example one, um, coding and practice, the, the distance between practice and coding is one, two, three. So that's the, that's the answer. Uh, that's why we have three. And then makes and coding. Um, we could either have makes and coding here where the distance is two, or we could have coding and makes here where the distance is one. Thereby, you need to find the shortest distance. And the approach that we'll be taking to the problem is that we will be having two indices uh, that will be uh, that will keep track of both the words uh, as we iterate through the the array of words and then we'll keep uh, updating the indices as uh, as soon as we see one of them and then after uh, every iteration what we do is we try to check the minimum distance so anytime we see something that's smaller than the one that we've seen previously it gets updated and that's how we keep a track uh, the solution will become clearer once uh, i start writing writing the code but the time complexity of the entire solution is of n where n um, is the number of uh, uh, strings in the string array and space complexity is O of 1 because we'll just be using uh, three variables to store the two indices of the word 1 and word 2 and uh, the minimum value that we've seen so far. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we have int, let's say index 1, um, just initialize that to minus 1, index 2, um, initialize that to minus 1 as well. Then you have the minimum uh, which is integer dot um, max value. Cool. Okay, and then you have a for loop uh, that iterates over all of the words dot length uh, plus. Um, yeah, so if words of i dot equals um, word one then you just update the index index one is equal to i and then you do the same for for word two um, index 2 is equal to i and after these conditions have been checked you want to look at if uh, other both the indices are not equal to 1 that means both of them have been updated um, you want to update the minimum that's not equal to minus 1 uh, what you do is you have the min you compare that not that min to what we've seen so far already or the difference in the new values if one of these values have been updated in the new iteration you want to calculate that so mark that absolutely get the difference between them so index um index one and index two um yeah that's good and then in the end you just return them uh quick let's quickly run this um Oh, right. Is it the difference between those two or not? Yeah. That should fix it. Ooh. Equals index 2. Index 1 is not equal to minus 1. And index 2 is not equal to y is expected is equal to 3. Mm. Why is this a problem? Index 1 is equal to minus 1, index 2 is equal to minus 1. And if words dot equals 1 equals word 1, i words dot i equals word 2, index 2 minus 1, if index i not equal, oh, it's minus 1. Ah. Right here, okay, so this is 
That was cool. That was a problem. Um. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Uh. Yeah. So there was a problem. If you have any questions, let me know. It was a. There was a. It was a pretty easy problem. But um. Do let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there are any problems that you want to solve in the questions uh, in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.